Hello everybody, my name is Will and welcome back to Sprocket and today we're going to be building another World War One tank. So it's been a little bit of, uh, it's been a while since I last designed a World War One tank. Uh, the last one we did was the kind of Swedish looking light tank kind of thing uh, and I was never the happiest with that to be honest but I, I built it with the intention that it would be brought through uh, World War II and so I've removed that limitation from myself this time. This thing we're not going to get through all the way uh, to the end of the game this time. We're just going to focus on getting through No Tanks Land, and if it does well in No Tanks Land, we're then going to do the uh, interwar scenarios. So imagine kind of this thing was sent on lend lease to the Spanish during the Spanish Civil War. Um, so, you know, kind of along the life cycle of an FT-17, but uh, with a little bit more spice thrown in there. Uh, and this thing is going to be a turretless tank, so it's going to be like a tankette kind of thing. I uh, think Ford 3-ton was like my main inspiration for this. Uh, obviously, it's quite a lot bigger than a Ford 3-ton, uh, and it has two crew. Um, I do end up using a custom mantlet rather than an in-game mantlet, because I didn't think any of the in-game mantlets really looked right when they also were able to have azimuth um so that's like aiming left and right uh i wanted to use the t-34 one but you can't aim that left and right so it just wasn't working for me um but yeah i mean that's you can see the t-34 man like that uh and this is pretty much the hull shape uh there's quite a lot more detailing that goes onto this thing but uh you know you can get the gist of it it, it looks like a tank destroyer but it's kind of uh, not armed with a tank destroyer gun um this ends up with, I mean, it has a 75mm at the moment, but it ends up with a 25mm, uh, essentially autocannon. It doesn't quite fire like an autocannon. It, it, it's got a reload of about three and a half seconds, but that's because my gunner is crammed in uh, as the gunner loader, and uh, then the driver is also the commander. So, you know, the efficiency of my crew is not great. <laughs> <laughs> you, you might not want to drive one of these things. It's it's probably not the most luxurious job, but then again, what tank was luxurious to drive in World War I? Uh, you know, I've been inside of a Mark I. Um, it didn't look... It didn't look fun. Um, and yeah, we, uh, we... As you can see at the top of the screen now, actually, hopefully, uh, we've named this tank uh, Little Billy. Um, and the reason we've named this tank Little Billy is because uh, the first ever... Uh, what you would recognize as a tank. Uh, it wasn't armed, but the first ever tank in inverted commas. You know, there'd been experiments before that were blah, blah, blah. But uh, it was called Little Willy. Um, and that's uh, not a joke. <laughs> uh, it's currently in uh, Bovington Tank Museum. I think it's the original one. I don't think it's a recreation. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's original because it's got um, some torn metal where they tried to tow it and uh, the metal plate just snapped rather than the tank moving. Uh, not not the tank museum that did that, as far as I'm aware. Um, but uh, I think I think that's what happened. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's that's a little bit of uh, history which uh, I am trying to pull out of the deep recesses of my mind because I haven't been to uh, Bovington in like two years. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, in the time that I've been talking about that, we have uh, put on the uh, custom mantler that I decided to use. So this uses the same principle as the oscillating tank turrets, yes, 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 um, to make a custom mantlet. Uh, but it it's kind of the other way around. So you've got a turret that does the vertical and then a turret on the vertical one that does horizontal. Um, and it's meant to look like a little gun shield. Um, kind of like how the three-ton had. But yeah, uh, it's pretty much done now. So I will, uh, I will uh, leave you and you can watch the me beat the game. Yeah, I, I'm afraid you're gonna have to go over there, little Billy. I, I know you don't want to. I know this world isn't kind to tanks that are as small as thee, but, but I'm afraid we have no choice. We're gonna have nine of them. We're gonna have an int- <laughs> A whole lot, lot of artillery raining down on us, and we can go, like, at most ten miles an hour if it's completely flat. Uh, or maybe even 11 if we go downhill but uh it it i i will be honest with you it's probably not going to end well for all nine of us <laughs> oh that is a bad start hello would you like 25 millimeter round no too bad i didn't even think the anti-tank guns could have this range oh god uh 
I don't know where to aim. I haven't done no tanks land in a long time. <laughs> and also, we're so short that I don't think it we can possibly get uh, over the trenches if we don't use these wooden planks that we've handily laid out in front of us. Uh, so we're gonna have to really- OH GOD! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that actually scared me. There's only four of us left already. We've bet we haven't even got to the artillery bit yet. Oh my god, the enemy tanks have just spawned in. I, I got hit by that. Oh goodness me, the planks fell. We actually did get across the trench though. I am quite impressed by that. Uh, those are the enemy tanks. I don't think we have enough time to stop and shoot at them. There's just artillery shells, you know? <laughs> we are we are in a little bit of bother. We've taken oh we've taken a lot of hits. We're taking a lot, a lot of hits. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Oh, we're 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 immobilized. Uh, return fire, little Billy. If you're going down, take some of them down with you. <laughs> no! I've worked out what was missing. It was exhausts. That was the reason that we didn't win. We didn't have any exhausts. Nowhere for engine gases to go. That's the obvious reason, and I've fixed it. So therefore, no more problems from this point on. Right? Surely? I think that's how that's going to work. Can we make it this time? over the artillery uh, section, I guess, without everybody dying instantly of artillery fire. My friends... Oh, wow, they've actually made it. Okay, they did destroy the wooden planks for me, which isn't great. Uh, can we get over without them? And that is a no. That's a no. Okay. Uh, you missed the planks entirely, but you're still carrying on. Uh, we will play as this guy, because I, I like I like that attitude. Forget the wooden planks, we don't need the wooden planks. We'll just make our own way. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can carry on that endeavour. Maybe an angle is going to help us here. Oh, actually it did. We've got across. Uh, we're not in safety yet. Far from it, in fact. Uh, there is an enemy tank. Let's see. Can the APHE... Oh, the APHE can go through. Okay. Uh, we've got a 25mm gun here. It's not very long-barreled, but it, it does have quite a bit of penetration for a World War One gun. It's, uh, I think it's about 40 millimeters of penetration, which is more than most tanks have, to be honest. Uh, so, even with APHE, it's not too bad. There goes an AT gun. Uh, this, we're having a lot more success. Clearly it was the exhausts, after all that, that was causing us all the problems. <laughs> I joke about it, and, uh, it, it's true. Um, there goes another- This gun's amazing! <laughs> after last time, we struggled so much with our gun. Uh, being inaccurate and not being able to kill anything. And this one, pinpoint. And, and plenty of penetration. Uh, there's another one over there. We've missed this time. I just say it's pinpoint and then it misses, obviously. Uh, however, he is angled, which is causing some dilemmas. There we go. Lower plate got him. Uh, and the APHE, definitely the way to go at the moment, because these 25s wouldn't kill anything uh, <laughs> with the AP. You'd need 50 shots. Uh, let's deal with some of these anti-tank guns. Are you gone? He's gone. Uh, there's another one over there. Hello. Would you like 25mm round? No? Too bad. Okay, now if I remember this mission correctly, once we get over this little bit here, if we do, uh, and we have, our, our little 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 Billy is getting over the uh, trenches, apart from those ones, they seem to be a little bit stuck. Uh, we should only need the one. Our reload's pretty quick. There will be two more tanks with quite a lot more armour. Uh, so... Oh, three more. Okay. Um, we may need to load the AP for this, but we're going to try the APHE at first. Uh, oh, goodness me. That's a lot of armor. <laughs> okay. Uh, perhaps we can't kill them at all. Maybe it's worth just driving past and hoping they don't see me. After all, I am little. That is, that is definitely true. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. They are... Oh, they are very well armored. Um, and it looks like they're very rapid-firing guns, if if them shooting at my allies is anything to go by. 
Oh, this is this is not promising. Oh dear. Uh, <laughs> please just drive past me and don't come over this hill. Oh, he stopped. Can we flank? That's going to be our only chance here, but they're going to turn their turret. They are absolutely going to turn their turret. We went through. Oh, we went through. Okay. There's another one just over this hill, though. Uh, and I don't know if I can deal with that. Maybe if we turn our backs to them, which is a little bit dangerous, we can try and get the back of this other one, though. Uh, hello, friend. That's thick. Uh... Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, no. They're cresting the hill. They're cresting the hill. I don't I don't want any of that. I don't want any of that at all. Forget where I am, please. No. Uh. Oh, wow. We've actually we've actually killed them all. Um, I think it's just the artillery left at this point. So it should be a walk in the park, right? We just need to kill three quarters of all the artillery and uh and 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 little billy's done it little billy has won world war one this this is world war one the whole thing yeah okay <laughs> it's a surprisingly effective gun actually the reload the penetration the the gun handling the accuracy everything i'm i am delighted with with little billy's armament here Oh, look at this. Look at this. This is fantastic. <laughs> look how many stripes there are on the barrel. My God. Give this little tank the Medal of Honor is all I'm saying. Why are you looking at the sky? There we go. Uh, and and a win. We've won. World War One is over. That was it. That was the whole war. And we are... Well decorated. Uh, it goes... <laughs> it goes even further. I don't think I've ever covered the barrel in quite that many stripes before. Okay, we've upgraded Little Billy uh, to, to fight in, uh, I guess, the Spanish Civil War is probably <laughs> the closest conflict to this time frame. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna call it the Spanish Civil War here. That's, that's definitely realistic. Uh, not at all. But, uh, okay. I mean, not having any problems. Let's, let's be honest. This 25mm gun has really impressed me. <laughs> I put it on, and I was like, that's not gonna penetrate anything. You know, we're gonna really struggle to get through. Because it's basically an oversized anti-tank rifle. And yet, it's been an amazing little... <laughs> Amazing little gun. It's done a really good job, and I'm very proud of it. Um, there is a Henemore, though, which is going to be a challenge uh, in order to take that thing down, because it is quite well armoured uh, compared, at least, to these little Panzer tractors. Maybe not the best armour, but, uh, yeah, not, not, not an easy target, for sure. Uh, I really want to get rid of this Panzer tractor on the left. I... I can't put the tank in reverse. It won't do it. Uh, it's not going. It's, it's, it's like my car. Um, but, uh, yeah. I guess I guess we just don't worry about that problem and hope it resolves itself. That is... Oh, dear. That's uh, 66 millimeters of armor, and we only have 54 of penetration. Can I go through the turret ring? Um, no, go away. Don't look at me. Uh, it's fine, actually. Uh, you can... Do your thing, Hennemore. I am not interested in antagonizing you anymore. Um, uh, there we go. Okay, APHE did the Panzer Tractor in. Um, oh my gosh, we've bounced a shot from the Hennemore. We're not going to bounce any more of those. Nope. <laughs> we were lucky enough with one. And now... Um, how has this happened exactly? Okay. The, the 25mm gun was endearing, but I have upgraded it. We now have a 35mm gun. Uh, it's not much better, but I think it should have just enough penetration to deal with a Henemore. Uh, if we have the anti-tank enemy as, like, the big boss at the end, we're still going to struggle. But if it's the Henemore, I think we can go through 
in like lucky spots. And I, I, speaking of lucky, I've <laughs> <laughs> I very nearly team killed that guy as he passed in front of me. Uh, that is the... He oh my god, I've just gone through the front of the Henemore. Uh I hit exactly 52mm of armor with 52mm of penetration, which is uh, lucky, I, I would say, for that to actually penetrate and do something at all. Uh, and there goes the last Bennett. I mean, that's... Uh, that's a shocking performance, actually. It's done surprisingly well. <laughs> Here we are in the dunes. Now, I am just hoping for a nice selection of enemies. I think the Allen still spawns on this map, uh, so that's going to be a nightmare. I, uh, the side of the Allen, in terms of the turret, is very thin. However, we don't have a turret, so actually flanking it and getting to its side isn't going to be the easiest thing in the world. So we're going to have to see and find out how we're going to be able to do that. That's not an Allen at all. That's a Mark I anti-tank, which is quite promising. If we have no Allens and instead have those, that's... Uh, I mean, I like I like that prospect. Uh, <laughs> that seems like a win for us. Um, maybe? Hello. Uh, I was really worried that was going to be... <laughs> A little tank going past us there. Can we... Oh, I don't think we're going to be able to go through that lower plate from this range. It's also angled now. Not very angled, but it, it, it is angled. Um, which means even less likelihood of us going through, frankly. And there goes one of our guys to a Model 1. Um, what is happening over here? I have bounced a shot. Let's just get below the dune. Um... It looks like a panzer tractor is desperately trying to kill my friend. I like my friend. Stop that. <laughs> my god, how many shots did my uh, little <laughs> my little tank destroyer take there? I, I mean, tank destroyer. I don't know if this thing can be classed as a tank destroyer. More like a tank uh, welcomer. It knocks on the door of tanks. Like, hello! Um, uh, just reminding you, uh, we are at war. <laughs> If, if you weren't aware, you know, just just, just spreading the good word. Uh, there goes another Panzer Tractor. Can we get to the side of this here Mark I anti-tank? We're going to need to run at full speed. Uh, no hesitation. They're not even trying to stop me, though, which is a good sign. Ooh, that is a big explosion. Hello, friend. Uh, please don't kill me. Okay, we've survived him. Uh... There's another one over there, and then the anti-tank behind me. Uh, either way, it's not going to be a good day. Actually, that's not a Panzer Tractor at all. That's one of my tanks. Okay. Uh, well, I don't know where this second enemy is, but I know there's this one. Uh, and that's a big one. So we're going to charge it down. <laughs> and we're going to try and just drive around it. Oh no, it has tracks. It's just foolish. Uh, it's turned its back to me, which is, you know, never turn your back to little Billy. Little Billy will, you know, pop a cap in you. <laughs> oh, I was thinking that was going to be uh, <laughs> a Panzer tractor. No, it's it's the Model 1 anti-tank aiming right at me. Yeah, uh, okay. Let's approach with... A little bit more caution, then, uh, because that thing could definitely make my day a little bit worse. <laughs> Very swiftly. Um, however, I mean, do, has it even seen me? Do, does it know there is a little Billy flanking it at the moment? Uh, is it aware of the danger it is currently in? Yes. No. No. Don't aim that at me. Young man, get that away from me. I am I'm closing the distance. This is this is a fight for our lives now, Model 1 anti-tank. I'm I'm sure you're aware of that, and it it appears that you will lose because I am a human, and you are a foolish computer. <laughs> okay. Well, uh frankly, uh, this has been a surprisingly effective uh little World War One tankette. Um I'm going to call it here for this video. Uh, I don't really want to modify this thing through all of the eras 
this video, but we may come back to it in the future. Uh, if you would like to take this thing and uh, put your own cursed armaments on it, maybe, you know, put a 105mm howitzer in it or something, or put a turret on it and see if you can make it look like an FT-17 of some variety, uh, tank files for this thing will be in my description, which is linked... Uh, in my Discord, which is linked in the description. Apologies. Uh, and if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. And I guess I should tell you to press the bell icon, but, um, uh, you know, uh, that's, that's up to you. <laughs> I'm so good at this. Anyway, uh, I hope to see you in the future. Oh, goodbye! And as always, a huge thank you to this channel's patrons, Cody N, Nicholas K, Just a Casual T62M1, Gunmaster929, Zite Wolverine, Rivera, Tree Loving Mango, CamJam135, Sad Cat, DJ Pete, Yoki003, Caligo Drake, and Rule Stalls Bokken. Thank you so much.